Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a bunch of slots in the Collection Log. In this video, we check out the new Collection Log update and the biggest free-to-play content we've gotten in years. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all hit like, because seeing that little number go up next to the thumbs up, it's all I've got left. So today we got ourselves a pretty sizable update to the collection log. Let's check it out. First off at the top you'll see the counter. This is not the Runelite plugin anymore. This is the official Jagex collection log rework. You can find this in the base version of the game. No third party client. It's beautiful. Honestly it is fantastic what they've done. They've even added counters to places that didn't previously have counters. Like let me find the gauntlet real quick. Do I know where my G's are? I don't. We can see I've done 158 corrupts and 38 normal ones which is awesome. Before it only showed the normal ones. They've also added a couple new sections like in the minigame tab we now have Volcanic Mine and Brimhaven Agility Arena both of which I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Uh, I'm like super close to finishing these like the agility arena ticket that's a free log slot and the graceful recolor really does not take very long to get in a volcanic mine i just need the ash covered tome i already got the water container and the teleports a long time ago also in the miscellaneous section they've added the merfolk trident which you get from underwater like agility fishing i don't think I've ever done this content before, so I'm excited to try that, and I believe that's all they added to the log in this update. I could be wrong, though, honestly. This is a huge update. Also, if you search my name, my username, in the log, you can find the Amulet of Eternal Glory, which I am over 50 or 60,000 charges on dry. I literally don't remember at this point, and I really don't want to, but thanks, Jagex. Also, in the patch notes today, they've said wearing a strung rabbit foot necklace gives you a slight increase to the chance of getting a bird's egg nest while doing birdhouse runs, which is just everything I could have ever asked for. So we're going to do our first bird run with this and get placebo evidence going in here to prove that this is actually a massive increase and that we're going to get like five bird's eggs in this run. And here's the end of our first run. No bird's eggs. I am now ready to make a conclusion based off this one run. This update sucks. It's not good enough. I should have gotten at least 10. So the first thing I want to go for is the new item from the activity that I've literally never done. The Merfolk Trident, which is from Underwater Fishing Agility. I don't really know what it's called. Uh, fortunately, I have the flippers already from the Mogers Grind I did a long time ago. And that allows you to swim around this place faster. But yeah, the gist of it is uh, every minute a chest or clam or something Thing in here will open and you got to navigate your way there loot it and you will get yourself one pearl and then you need what is it like 400 pearls or mermaid tears sorry to trade in to get the trident so overall this shouldn't really take too long or be too difficult assuming i'm not terrible at this but uh let's give it a shot so this is not too bad so far i've got nearly 100 out of the 400 tiers that we need i'm gonna try and move my mouse as far away as possible because it's kind of annoying uh, so basically you swim to wherever the clam or chest is that opens you click it and you get a guaranteed mermaid tier and then every time you search it afterwards you have about a one in eight chance of succeeding assuming that you're 99 thieving and agility it scales with your level uh, then you have about a 1 in 8 chance of succeeding at getting it, so you just have to spam click on it, which is a little bit painful for my wrist, but the things I do for the collection log, and then after like a minute or so, it appears in a different spot, and you just keep doing that until you have enough. It hurts. Also, you got to keep an eye on your uh, little oxygen level here, because if that depletes, uh, you lose some tears and you wash up on shore, I think, so uh, yeah, don't do that. I'm going to take a bit of a break from here, but you can't bank the glistening tears, which are the ones you get that give you XP. So uh, I think it's most efficient to get thieving and agility. So let's exchange them all. Dang, those XP drops were honestly amazing. It might be worth doing just for the satisfying XP drops. So me and Yoda's Yoda just did like probably nine or 10,000 glory charges at the... Uh, at the altar in the wilderness the fountain of rune whatever it's called and we did not get the eternal glory unfortunately but i wanted to say thank you to him he also said he'll run with me anytime so the eternal glory meme might be dead eventually not probably not anytime soon but eventually and finally we are done getting our 400 mermaid tears first off i'm going to trade in these glistening tears for xp you guys are ready for this xp drop oh my god that looks so good Oh, that almost makes me want to do this again, but I'm never going to do this again. So now let's trade her. Merfolk Trident. Also, they have a new pop-up that you get when you get a new collection log slot. Apparently, it's like the League's task pop-up. So let's buy the Merfolk Trident. And look at that collection log new item, Merfolk Trident. And it says it in the chat box there. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. And for those who don't know, the Merfolk Trident is this incredible item, as you can see here. Uh, you can you could put, like, puffer fish on it or something and... You could sell it for 600k, it's so cool. 
I decided on a whim, I just feel like doing some clues. So here's 100 hard caskets stacked up. Let's check the collection log before we get started. I, I also kind of wanted to do this because they split the mega rares into their own tape. What, what's, what's going on here? Why is, why is the collection log broken? Hold up. Okay, wait, it's working now. I, I don't know what was up with that. Um, they split the mega rares into their own table. So now, I mean, it's possible that I could finish the hard maybe one day of the elite log you know something crazy like that so we've got 121 out of 134 solved or obtained in the hard clue log and we're going to pass over 1000 hard clues completed here quick little scroll through for those who like to see what we're missing i maybe was a little too quick but who cares let's get started and we have the collection log plugin so it'll tell us when we get a unique at least that's the hope and three clues and we get a master clue as is expected 97 left to go definitely going to get something insane right now Yes, we did. Another master clue after three more. Okay. I hate being right sometimes. All right, 94 left to go. How long till our next master clue? Is it, is it going to be three again? No, it's not. But now we can at least open stuff. Oh, the Bandos Bracers. I forget, but we only need like one more piece of uh, God Dehyde to finish the entire set. I think it's like the Armadil Chaps or something like that. So see if we can get lucky and get those. Hey, Bandos Dehyde Body. That's a clean half a mil clue. I will take it. And a new item, the Guthix Crozier. I believe that completes our Crozier set. Also, look at that nice pop-up. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. All right, there's one new unique so far in this opening. How many more are we going to get? Oh, my God, that's it. That's the... Oh, wow. Really? The Ancient Chaps. That was it. That was the last piece of God Dehyde we needed. I think that is the entire God Dehyde set completed. Besides the shields, obviously. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's so clean. Oh, so good. So good. Completely spoon fed. Not even a thousand hard clues. I mean, it's just that easy. And another master clue. Let's go. I am not complaining at all. This is going. This has exceeded my expectations already, man. I dedicate this next casket to Tedious, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's see what we get. Sorry. Yo, Ceridoman God Dehyde, 800,000 golden pieces. And you know, I got a comment from somebody in the last video that got quite frustrated with me because I call it gold or GP. And he says it's not called gold, it's called coins. What do you guys call the RuneScape GP? Do you call it coins or do you call it gold? Please tell me. Yo, what is that? A zombie head? Is that actually worth something? Or is that just because the rune play legs? Let's see. The zo oh, it's only 4,000 GP. Well. It's a little disappointing. This clue is pretty sick, though. Red Dragon Mask and an H5 Rune Helm. None of it's new, but, uh, is cool. Ooh, Zarket Om Ornament Kit. We are just rolling in rewards. Just one more unique and my day will be made. Come on. Here we go. Two more until the big 1,000. And boom, our 1,000th hard clue ever done. And we got full black dehyde. So we are finally ready to go PKing. Ooh, Saradoman Chaps. Another 600k to add to the bank. That'll help mitigate the, like, 100 mil I spent on the uh, magpie amplings. Ooh, another pair of ancient chaps? Really? That was the last piece of God Dehyde we needed. And we just got that, like, earlier in this opening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I always get so shook when I see that unique. I'm like, what? What? Didn't... But we... Okay. Back-to-back -back explorers backpacks. Probably rarer than Third Age. Who knows? I mean, someone... Someone will do the... Ma Another Guthix Crozier? Didn't we just get that, too? Wasn't that a unique in the log as well? Wait, it was! So in a thousand hard clues, I didn't get any, but now in these last hundred, we've gotten two of each. Alright, like, I'm not complaining, it's just, uh, it's perplexing. I just stopped recording, but we just got another new unique. The Blue Dehyde Chaps trimmed three uniques in the 100. Ugh, they doubted me. They didn't think it could happen, but we pulled it off. All right, 10, wow, Zammy plate skirt and Bandos plate skirt in the same clue, that's weird. All right, 10 more hard caskets. Normally, I would spam click the last 10 caskets, but I think I'm just going to spam click the last five. For that. That's why I didn't spam click, because I knew we were getting a master. Eight more hard clues left to go, and we're going to spam click the last five, because that is just what you do when you are a gamer. So here we go, five hard clues left, just spam click them and peep the inventory, anything new? No. Not at all. Anyways, I really don't care because we got three new collection log slots in the hard clue log from that 100. Let's check how many we need to do now. We're at 124 out of 134. Just 10 new uniques left to go. Uh, you know, four of them are the God Dehyde shields, and I think two of them are the Rune Plate bodies. So, uh, 
Six of those are incredibly rare, and we probably won't expect to see any of them anytime soon. But now we get to do the Master Clues, which we've got 24 out of 49. I think it's probably worth it to just get the Bloodhound out of the way now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, the Shazian Hood. Dude, I, I am so upset. Look at my hoods, dude. I have three of two of them, two of one of them, and I just have none of those other two. I would love those hoods, and we didn't even get to see that Master Clue. We get another torture, <laughs> another torture ornament kit, which I'm not complaining about. It's 6.7 mil. <laughs> I, don't, I just can't anymore, dude. I can't open these clue scrolls anymore, man. Seriously. <laughs> Was that back-to-back -back torture anime? What? And the Hood of Darkness. So we got, we literally got one, two, three, four uniques. All of them were duplicates. So we've gotten three torture anime kits. Animate kits? I can't even talk. Torture ornament kits. Four occult ornament kits. And uh, we now have two hoods of darkness. I just, I can't anymore, folks. I can't. And the total price check for those four hard clues is 14 million gold. I mean, master clues. I mean, just give me a break, all right? I might be having a stroke right now. Dude, no, I was just about to get off. And I was tabbed into something else. I click back to RuneScape. I look down, I log out. And there was a there was a beekeeper random event right there trying to talk to me, dude. I swear I'm on the edge, man. I'm about to quit this game. I can't anymore, you guys. I just can't. So today Jagex released a brand new quest, Wowzers, and a new free-to-play area. So I know what you're thinking. Why why do I care? Why are you telling me this? Seriously. Who cares? Well, I care because there's a ton of new collection log slots for it if I can find it. Camdozal, there's 10 new collection log slots in this area. It's a huge update for free-to-play players. Uh, a lot of free-to-play players were actually not happy with this because it gave new higher XP rates. I'm not going to get into the drama or my opinions on it, but I will say this. I'm happy to see new collection log slots because new things to grind for puts a smile on my face. So let's go do the new quest called Below Ice Mountain, and let's unlock the new area and get started on trying to understand what all of this is because it's a pretty big place from what I've heard. This quest is something else, man. I think this might be the best quest ever released. Look at this. Look at this Rambo training montage. Where else are you going to get this besides RuneScape? Also, I like how she said catch. <laughs> my dude just kept running. Oh, this is incredible. When I tell you guys that that was literally like a three or four minute cutscene, I am not over exaggerating. It was amazing though. And we unlocked a new emote, Flex. Look at this. Oh my god, yes. Okay. This might be the best quest that's been released in this game in a long time. Time for the climax boss fight of the quest. Let's see how hard this is. Honestly, I imagine I'm going to have quite a tough time here. I'm sure there's some interesting mechanics that are going to make this boss a little difficult to beat. And, uh, you know, somehow we've come out on top. And there we go. Below Ice Mountain is done. We got 2,000 coins. We're pretty much loaded now. And we now have access to this beautiful, beautiful new piece of content called the Ruins of Camdozal. Now, I'm going to go do a little bit of research and play around here a bit and see if I can figure out how I'm supposed to get these new items. So, it looks like every little thing here in this log comes from a different activity down here. Uh, I believe one of these pieces of the Baronite Mace comes from these little creatures here. Let me hit this Awaken the Rebel. Oi, oh, get her up! And then uh, we will fight this Chaos Golem, which is level 70. I wonder how strong it is. And uh, it has a chance to drop, I believe, the Baronite Guard, if the wiki information is correct. So I'm going to kill these until we get that item first. It says it's an uncommon drop. Who actually knows if it is or not? We'll find out shortly. And, uh, yeah, let's get on this grind. Oh, hey, we also got another new item called a Chaos Core. Let me pick this up so you guys can see what this is. Uh, it's a new thing for runecrafting and free-to-play. You bring this to the uh, altar to rune... Well, actually, this one's members only. Sorry, the other ones are body and mind. You bring them to the runecrafting altar that you would make, you know, Chaos Body or Mind runes at. And then uh, when you craft them, it gives you extra runes and runecrafting XP. A lot of people were saying these might be kind of OP. And, of course, you get to train your runecrafting through combat, which is a, a bit of a meme. But, you know, once we're done getting the whatever piece we're trying to get for the Baron Knight Mace, we'll bring this to the altar and see how much XP we get from these. Oh, look at that new collection log item, the Baronite Guard. We got it after about six minutes of killing these Chaos Golems. That was not too bad at all. I think I have to kill it. Well, can I walk under him? I have no idea. Yeah, you can walk under him. All right, we got the Baronite Guard for the mace. Uh, does the Rune Light Tracker track it? Yep, that was 23 Golem kills to get that. May have been pretty lucky. I have no idea. And we got ourselves two Chaos Cores in the meantime. Also, we got these Baronite Shards, 
which you uh, get from pretty much every activity you do in this cave. You bring them over to our good buddy, which is all the way over here. I really thought I was closer. This guy right here, uh, Romarno. And I think if you get a thousand, you get to go into the Great Vault, which is a place with a lot of good loot. And I assume more of the unique items. You can also trade them in for little things like permanent 10% buff to your chance of catching fish, a permanent buff, permanent buff, and then also some temporary buffs like one hour boosted buffs to all activities within here. So I'll probably go for all of these unless I somehow get the collection log slots beforehand. Then I'll only go for the relevant ones because I'm going to need a lot of shards to go into the vault, I'm sure. I'm sure some of these are only from the vault. All right, we've got our little chaos cores here. We're at the chaos altar. Is this worth it? Or is it really bad? Let's see. Two chaos cores, 170 runecrafting XP. That is absolutely terrible. They made 20 chaos runes each, so I guess that's cool. But uh, yeah, do not do this content. Please. I'm begging you. Okay, I'm doing the mining now, and it is it is basically free to play Motherload Mine, actually. <laughs> I am 99 mining, so of course my success rate is probably much higher than uh, when a lower level free to play player is doing this, but uh, it's pretty decent actually and you get the shards a lot faster from this so i thought it was going to be insanely slow but the shards look like they are picking up pretty quickly at the mining so let's keep doing this for god knows how long i'm pretty sure there's an item you can get from this oh hey we finally got one there is a baronite deposit sometimes you get those instead of the shards when you're mining here and this is the key to the collection log slots that we're going to get from mining here i bring these to the anvils that are by the guy i just showed you earlier and i can either get some baronite from it which is the most common thing an ancient relic which is uncommon the baronite head for the mace or the broken baronite hammer the head and the hammer are both quite rare apparently so i might be here for a while although we could just get lucky and get spoon fed it so i'm probably just gonna sit here and mine until we get like i don't know like 10 of these things maybe a little bit more depending on how chill i'm feeling and uh, then we'll bring them over to the anvil and start smithing you know i've only been here for like five minutes but i'm getting like 35,000 xp per hour it's like actually pretty good honestly for how afk it is i mean motherload mine is better but this is almost kind of more afk since you never have to uh run over to the ore sack to deposit your thing so i mean uh i could see actual players using this as a training method it's not bad actually it is bad because they nerfed these methods into oblivion like the day after this update came out so anything i say about how nice the xp is or how it's decent you can just ignore me okay so i've been mining this for a good while i was only gonna go for 10 but look at this we've got uh geez what is that like 20 of them so i'm gonna go smith all these the reason i'm doing it now instead of just going for the full inventory is i remember there's an upgrade you can get that buffs the rate of receiving the baronite deposits i think and i think i could buy that from romarno here how much is that exactly oh here we go so it's the permanent five percent buff to your chance to mine deposits but then there's also a permanent five percent buff to your chance to finding rare items just in general so I, it's probably more worth it to just get this one first and then get the other ones for whatever I'm going for. So I'm actually going to smith these baronite deposits because you can get baronite shards from it. And hopefully we can get up to 3,000. I need a hammer. Like I was saying, hopefully we can get up to 3,000 so that we can actually buy the luck increase. If not, you know, it's not that much more time mining. Anyways, here we go. We might get a rare item. We might just get a ton of baronite, but we will definitely get some smithing XP. Oh, wow. Third one. We got the ancient astroscope. I... Don't know what that is, honestly. I think it might be... Yeah, it's a museum item. I know they increase the kudos you can get in the museum. So once we finish gathering everything from here, we'll turn it all in at the museum. But I didn't know you got these from uh, smithing. I thought you only got those from the vault. So I uh, guess we're all learning something. And last one. We are coming up literally like 50 shards short. God, if I had stayed in mind for literally like 30 more seconds, we would have had enough. Anyways, we got a new collection log item. I cannot complain. Let's go mine for like 10 more seconds so we can buy the luck increase. Actually, I just had an epiphany. I kind of want to buy the mining buff first because a 5% buff on the chance to getting the deposits. Plus, I'll probably end up getting more than enough Baronite shards if I just go for one more full inventory of these Baronite deposits since I got nearly 3,000 just from one inventory. So we'll buy the mining buff first. We've got 500 left over, so we just need to get 2,500 more. So hopefully by the next time we even smith these Baronite deposits, we'll be able to buy the luck increase first. And then hopefully we don't need to mine too much more. All right, we've been mining hard, and we have got enough Baronite shards to increase our RNG. Yes, why? Just, just make this a game feature, Jagex. Just increase RNG. I won't complain. And now we got a full inventory, 26 Baronite deposits. I don't have a hammer again. Oh, wait, there's a hammer spawn right here. Oh, this is literally the best game ever. Honestly, the developers for RuneScape have thought of everything. All right, we're going to smash these out, and with our luck increase, we're we did first one we got an ancient globe all right the luck increase is op folks get that first 
It's insane. Oh man, we just got a duplicate ancient astroscope. Okay, so it's not guaranteed that you will get a non-duplicate of these, unless there really is only two from the Baronite deposits. Yeah, it's gonna be to me. But uh, yeah, little unfortunate. Oh boy, last one coming up here and we did not get anything else. How rare is this mace piece? Uh, each inventory of the Baronite deposit things probably takes about Jeez, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour to get, so uh, it looks like we're going to go back and mine for another hour. I really, really want to try out the fishing, honestly, but, I mean, I, I don't have the buff, so I'm going to keep mining because I do have the buff. All right, we've got ourselves another inventory of Baronite deposits. God, this takes so long. I just want to get my unique items video game. I'm not here to go for 200 mil mining. I mean, come on. This is a joke, I'm not actually complaining. I don't expect all these rare items to be super common. Even though they are untradeable, it's not like their value really matters. But I think the Baronite Mace is like close to best in slot in free to play. It's like only slightly worse than the Rune Scimitar, so uh, you know, I guess it's gotta be a little hard to get. Oh wait, I just got something. I got the broken Imkando hammer. Oh, that's awesome, but it didn't say it's a collection log slot. Maybe I need to repair it for it to count as a collection log slot. I think all I do is use it on Romarno here, and then he makes me pay him like 1,200 Baronite shards, and we just got another ancient globe. So we've gotten two of those ancient things. I think there were like five things in the collection log called ancient something, so I don't know. Anyways, let's use this some Kando hammer on Romarno. Well, well, there we go. We just got the ancient ledger. Ask and you shall receive, folks. Just complain a little tiny bit. Wait. Ancient Globe added to your collection log. Was that from way earlier? That must be from way earlier, because I was going to say, I, I swear we've gotten that before. All right, we show him the broken hammer, and he's like, oh, the Imkando hammer. Yes, it's amazing. 1,250 shards, please. Yep. Fix it up for me, good buddy. He steals it from me, gives me the hammer, and there's the collection log slot. Plus, now we have a wieldable hammer, which is super useful if you're, um, because it saves you one inventory spot. It's, uh, it's not that great, but honestly, it looks amazing. Let's be real. That looks sick. So just a little peek at the collection log to see how things are going. We are halfway done with Camdozal, and technically a little bit more because not only are the items to build the mace unique, uh, the mace itself is unique. So once we get these other two pieces, we'll build the mace and get, you know, an extra one. And there are two more ancient things, the ancient Carcanet and the ancient treatise. I am 100% sure I pronounced that wrong. Please correct me and call me a big dumb dumb in the comments. Thank you. I love you. Uh, now, I, yeah, part of me wants to spend these Baronite Shards to get the fishing buff so we can start fishing, but then part of me really wants to go into the Ancient Vault right here. Um, I think we almost have enough to get both the upgrade and to go into the vault, so uh, maybe I'll go mine a tiny bit more. We'll upgrade the fishing thing so we can start trying out the fishing, and then we'll do one run through the vault, which I'm sure will not go well. First off, boom, let's upgrade the fishing, and uh, back to mining I go for another couple hours. So we're going to go ahead and try out the vault. You need to have at least a thousand Baronite shards stored in the forge. Oh, you put it in the forge? Okay, you know, I, I should probably read the text a little bit more. I probably missed that. All right, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out how to use these. I'm using it on the forge. It's not doing anything. Romarno, help. Oh, you got to use the shards on him, and then he puts them in there for you. What a nice guy kind of terrified you only get one minute in here and i think you have to escape with the loot that you have like if you are stuck in there at the end you don't get any loot so and it's completely randomized i'm a little bit terrified i know i'm gonna screw this up and a thousand baronite shards takes a little while to get but let's do it we got an elaborate and three simple lock boxes no idea what's in these uh, I was under the impression those artifacts that I was getting from the Baronite Shards were actually only from this, but okay, we made it with time to spare. Now we know exactly kind of what the timing is feeling like, and now we can open these lock boxes. so let's open the simple ones first. Wow. Look at that loot. That is insane! And now the elaborate lockbox. We got three Law Runes and an Iron Pickaxe. So, this does seem absolutely abhorrent, and I know you're probably dying laughing right now looking at me with, uh, geez, how much GP is this? 5.6k in my inventory, but honestly, for a free-to-play player, this is not that bad, and I probably played the vault very, very, very poorly. You could probably do that a lot better, so, uh, you know, we'll go get some more Baronite Shards. We'll try out the fishing next, and, uh, yeah. I, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I have the stamina potion in there. This is less than 2k. Never mind. It's terrible. All right, I literally clicked on the fishing spot to go AFK, and then I left my house, went and picked up pizza for my family. I come back, and we have the handle. I didn't even get to see the collection log pop up. Okay, well, that's great. I don't have to do this anymore. 
Um, pro tip, if you're just going for a collection log, just drop the fish on the ground. You don't get anything from preparing it and offering it except for experience. So uh, if you're like me and you have 99 in all your skills because you have a personal problem, then you don't need to you fish anymore. Just fish and then... <laughs> So I've been mining for a little while, as you can tell by the uh, 11,500 shards I have, and I've banked quite a few of these Baronite deposits. I'm not exactly sure how many myself, probably like 80? Maybe 80? I'm gonna guess 80. Let's see. 73. God. I swear I didn't do this on purpose. I, I genuinely promise I did not do this on purpose. And peeping the collection log, you can see that we are still missing the Baronite Head, the Ancient Treaties, and the Carcinet, Carcanet, whatever, however you pronounce that. And um, they all come from these, by the way. I did a little bit more research. You do not get, like, anything from the vault except for regular garbage loot. You pretty much get everything from smithing these things. So I really, really hope we have some good luck here. If I have to keep mining, I'm going to go insane. I've been doing it, like, almost all day. Oh no, dude, this is not a good way to start. We've already got a duplicate, the Astroscope. Come on, game, please. I, I don't know if you saw that right as I stopped recording. We got an ancient ledger. Uh, fantastic. Okay, before we do more, I'm going to buy the one hour of boosted buffs. I mean, maybe it increases the drop rate. Maybe. Oh, dude, no. We just got another Imkando hammer. Why can you even get a duplicate of that? And another. Oh, no. Dude, okay, I'm about to lose my mind, y'all. Oh, there we go. A new collection log slot. The ancient Carcinet. Carcanet, I don't know, what is it? It is too delicate to be worn. I guess it's like a necklace or something. Cool, so we just need one more ancient item and one more piece for the mace, and we're completely done with this content. Another Astroscope, dude. I swear to God, we've gotten like five of these. Oh, hey, we just got the Baronite Head. Okay, look, complain and you shall receive. So all we need now is the Ancient Treatise. That is all we need. And we get a duplicate amulet. Okay, video game, please. I'm going to channel all my energy into you. Just take... You can seep all the joy you want from my life. Just give me this treatise, please. Okay, we just got another Baronite head. Are you serious? I don't know what to say. And, and we, we, just got, we just got another hammer. The treatise! We're done! We are done. Oh my gosh, look at... You see, I sounded so sad and demotivated. But now, I'm just sad with collection log slots. Alright, let's bust out the rest of the Baronite pieces. I don't know why they're all over the place in my bank. But we've got the guard, we've got the handle, and we have the head. And of course, let's get out the collection log. So do we put these all together? We, we probably gotta bring them to the dwarf, right? Hey, my guy, Romarno, look at this. Look, I've got these Baronite things. All right, you'll need to have the right pieces and 1,500 shards. Yes, please construct the ma- I do have the sh- Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I just gave him my shards. I thought that him holding onto my shards would mean that I could- I have to- I just- I have to go mining again. Well, you know, I stored 12,000 shards in him because I'm a big dum-dum, but here we go. Let's show him the Baronite head. I found this. Yeah, here's 1,500. You have all the parts in here. Give me a second. I'll fix it up for you. And he hands you the Baronite mace. There we go. Baronite mace collection log done. Should come in handy when killing the golems. And uh, let's check it out. This thing apparently has the stats of a rune scimitar, but just a little bit worse. And, uh, yeah, look at that. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I feel like it's it's a little bit bland, you know? I kind of want it to be a little bit more colorful. But other than that, uh, it's pretty nice. It's very pointy. And now let's peep our collection log. Go to the other. Go to Cam Dozel. And it is done. And it's also not turning green. It's a, it's a bug I've been seeing a lot with the collection log since the update. Uh, it's just not turning green in certain sections that you have completed. Anyways, though, look at that. Day one of release, we got everything. We got six ancient astroscopes and a duplicate of every other one before we got the treatise. But uh, I'm not complaining, man. I'm happy. This was actually pretty fun. It's a decent bit of content. And, uh, you know, you should try it out. Unless you don't want to, then don't. Because you're not, you're not missing out. Also, one more thing, you may notice the museum kudos now goes up to 230. You have to turn these ancient things into somebody at the museum, maybe the curator. Yeah, I have some relics you might be interested in. They'll pay you coins, and you'll get kudos for your first one. So yeah, I found them beneath Ice Mountain. Yeah, yeah, there's lore. I know the lore, but I don't want to hear it right now. Okay, I'm just going to have to space bar through this. Okay, so it looks like he paid me 200 coins for each one that was new. You get 100 GP each for the dupes, and you get 200 for them initially. So, uh... That's insanely underwhelming. I thought it would be like at least like a thousand GP each or something like that because even for free to play, this is really terrible and getting those dupes is just honestly not worth it. But hey, at least we got our museum kudos maxed out. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be super useful. It was kind of a pain. It took me like almost a whole day to get all of those things just for five museum kudos. I don't know if that's going to help anybody like get to Fossil Island earlier on a new account or something, but uh, there you go. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. I just dropped this on the ground and I said hi Alk 5000 GP. Is that true? It is. It actually Alks for 5000 GP. Okay, that actually might be nice for free to play players. If all the pieces of the mace Alk for 5000 GP each, that's not too bad actually. And so I think I'm going to end the video off here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. If you want to support the channel, you know what you can do. You can drop a like, check out the second channel, subscribe to the channel, check out my Twitch, check out my Twitter, all that garbage. But I wanted to say real quick, that we're at 11.35 uh, collection log slots in total. In the last video at the end, I think it said 11.19, but I kind of don't feel like we got 19 slots in total. I think the log was bugging out from the last one, so it's going to say we got 16 in this video. I think we only got 13. I could be wrong, though. Like, maybe editing Shelby's going to see that I'm a big dum-dum and I'll put some text on screen. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm feeling pretty motivated about this right now, so I might have in these collection log videos coming out a lot more frequently over the next, like, month or so. Anyways, appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.